What's up guys, this is Zarbit here, and welcome to episode 2 of Map Control. Uh, this week's map, we're gonna go over Dome. Uh, Dome's quite a small map, so there isn't too many secret spots to it, though there are quite a tons of lines of sight around the map. A bunch of them are useful in s and uh, I mainly play Domination, Kill Confirm, TDM, and most of those, uh, most of the spots are kind of use it when you have to. It's all situational, but anyways, uh, I thank you guys for the support you showed on the last video. Uh, I also got some suggestions, and keep those coming. Um, it really helps me improve the series, and let's get into it. As always, we're gonna start off with First Blood. Uh, these are some spots to get you some fast, kill quick kills at the beginning of the game. Uh, this one's actually in a real match. Uh, I got a, a suggestion by a subscriber to use some real footage, and I'll try to do that when I can get it. Uh, this one, really simple, when you spawn on the top side, you want to run over to the fence. You can jump right over the fence and shoot through it to the people capping A domination. It's a really deadly flag. A lot of people throw Semtexas, which you can also do. Uh, it's a really hard flag to cap at the beginning. If you spawn on the other side, there's really not much to do. Uh, you can run through the middle up the up to the dome and into the middle, but usually someone's looking down at the dome ready to shoot you, so it's a 50-50 chance. Uh, this is an S and D first blood. Uh, what you want to do is get your sniper rifle, run up to this catwalk, and boom, you can see right into the spawn. This is also a really good line of sight because there's only two ways out of the dome, and this way guarantees that you'll see them if they come out of that door. Moving on to lines of sight, uh, there are tons of lines of sight on dome. Uh, most of them are situational, use them when you have to, and just keep in, keep them in mind when you're playing certain game modes. For this one, it's kind of a secret spot too. What you want to do is come to this post and keep going along the edge until you see the press A to jump thing. And if you once you're up here, there's quite a lot of ways you can look. You can look right into C domination, or you can just look out if you're playing S and D. Um, it's quite a deadly spot. No one's gonna see you there. However, you have no cover, so use it when you have to. For this one, jump up on top of those barrels and you can see people coming out of the sea domination where you have a height advantage and they won't really see you there. Uh, these are kind of just obvious. If the cars or the Hummers aren't blown up, uh, you can shoot right underneath them. A lot of people camp over there. Um, just be wary that you know people are going to grenade those cars a lot and once they're grenaded, you can't look underneath them so keep that in mind. Uh, for this one, come to the back part by ADOM, jump up on top of the fallen forklift, and you can look right over the container toward that jeep where any enemies come out of the dome, uh, not the dome, but where they come out of the B domination building. Um, if you come over here, you get a little better view, but the back view, uh, from the back one, you can get uh, more cover and they're not really going to see you from back there. Uh, just to keep in mind, a lot of people camp back here right behind the fence. Uh, it's good for S and D because right here you can see where they come out of. There's only two ways again. This is one of them. It's a really good line of sight. Keep that one in mind. Also keep it in mind if someone's capping over there. For this one, uh, if you come to this back corner, you can kind of see people get on top of that ladder. Um, it's not really that great, but it's just something to have in mind. Uh, for this one, if you kind of jump off of the little uh, uphill part right there, you can jump on top of this table and you get kind of a little view, kind of like the first line of sight I showed you. Um, these, a lot of people I notice camp behind this jeep, especially when it's blown up. It's really good cover because it covers one way in, uh, out of the B-Domination building. It's really tough um, spot to see you there. Uh, for this one, this is really good in s and if the other team just camps in that building. Jump on top of, the, uh, jump on top of this jeep and you can look right into the uh, B-Domination building where people may be camping. It's also good for domination, a lot of people like to camp in that window. Uh, and you can also look around, you can kind of see over there, you can kind of you can see through the other dome entrance. As you see, uh, I'll show you a little while, right there. You can see through the other dome entrance, I don't, I'm not too sure if you can see people. You can also jump over, and you can see people coming out of that dome right, of the dome right there. Uh, keep that in mind, it's really good for anything actually. And, moving on. Oh. My computer lagged a little bit there, but anyways, you can. A lot of people like to camp behind this fence. You have perfect. Uh, you're kind of camouflaged behind it. It's really hard to catch people there. Keep that in mind. Uh, for this one, these are where it gets really good. Come behind the blue container. You can look right through these things. Uh, you have a, if you have a sniper rifle or an assault rifle, you can look through these various holes in the container and through the through the I guess the wooden. Uh, I forget what those things are called, but you can look right through them. A lot of people. Um, once suspect you there, especially these are really good for search and destroy where you can catch people off guard or you can just see if they run through the middle of the map. 
as you can see, I have uh, tricks are for rabbits helping me out here. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Oh, nope, get a hit marker. It's okay. But keep these spots in mind, you're really good. Uh, also, another one if you come up to this Jeep in the front, you can also wedge yourself in there. Just move up to the left corner and move to the right until you can't move anymore. Jump up and you can jump on top of there. But this one, this is kind of a nifty one. You can look right between this line of sight and you're gonna you're gonna be able to see if people run toward the A domination flag or if they run through the B domin uh, B bomb site in search and destroy. For this one, a lot of people camp behind the tank, and this is a really good spot right here. I can't I can barely see John himself, and he couldn't see me when I asked him if he could see me. But if you see right here, another way you can see people running past that black uh black back behind that blue container. For map secrets, uh, I have some pretty good spots that you guys like. But first off, we're gonna go over the red barrels. I'm sure you guys are familiar with all these freaking red barrels around the map. In the dome especially, there's like five. It's ridiculous. Uh, just pay attention, keep these in mind. You can throw, you can shoot these, grenade them, explode them. I think you can throw flash grenades and they blow up. Uh, you're gonna get a lot, you can get a lot of kills using those. Uh, also, watch out for the jeeps outside. Don't camp behind, don't really camp behind them if they're not exploded yet because you're gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up in your face. Uh, so our first spot, really. Uh, a lot of people like to cap the sea dom right in the open, but if you didn't know, you can come behind this uh, little wall right here and jump up on top. Go in the corner, you can cap it from the other side. A lot of people won't see you there, it's really good cover. Uh, you can also do it on the other side, just hop up over here. Uh, I think, personally, the best spot is a little back right here. Because you can see right into where people are coming from the dome. It's a perfect spot, they're never going to see you, you have perfect cover, and it's a really good spot. I highly recommend you guys use this in the game all the time. Like, it will save your butt a lot. Like right here, I think my teammate gets killed and the other guy doesn't even see me. So I just hide and cap the flag for the win. That's a really good spot, and I recommend using it all the time. I use it all the time now. I get killed there because I'm retard, but that's okay. Uh, for the B domination flag, Everyone just caps it in here, but I found a pretty nifty spot that's actually pretty useful. Uh, if you didn't know, you can cap it from outside here. This is the only side that works, so don't try the other sides. Uh, cap it from out here, you have a little extra cover. Uh, in this in-game clip I have, I actually managed to hide from this guy because he doesn't know where I am. You see right here, he's, he's right there and I just hide because of the stealth bomber coming in. and He doesn't see me and I have time to cap the flag. It's a perfect spot, I recommend you guys using it too. Uh, right here, just a little extra thing, you can jump up on this forklift, uh, you can sh do whatever you want over here, it's not that useful. You can also shoot through it. Uh, this one's really hard to do, if you keep, if you aim for this left corner, you can jump up on top of this, whatever that thing is, but you can jump on top of it, it's kind of useless, but, you know, it's just a little tip you guys can have. And for this, I love to use this in Infected. A lot of people camp prone up here, come on top of this ledge, you have a little bit more height, and it's going to get you an easier throwing knife kill. Uh, I recommend that spot a lot. So that's it for Dome. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode 2 of Map Control. Once again, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a rating. Also, subscribe if you're new, and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions to improve, or if you want to see another map. Uh, a certain map that you want to see. Uh, I thank you guys again for watching. Have a nice day. I'm, my name is Arbit. I'll see you guys later.